Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Peacemaker Season number 1, episode number 7, Stop Dragging My Heart Around. And this episode here was directed by um Brad um, Anderson. And first of all, I gotta say, John C is really killing that his performance as Peacemaker. I've said it before. And, his, and watching him do the emotional scenes as well. You make really your heart really goes out to this character. It's just so weird. They took a character like Peacemaker, who was horrible in the movies, and make you make you an understanding of who he is, and then also actually make make you like for him and root for him at the same time as well too. Seeing who his father is in this episode and how his father treated him, and also trying to kill him in this episode as well too, and then seeing. Why he feels the uh, people the, the, um, the, the burden peacemaker been carrying all this time about how his brother died and how his father pretty much made him fight his brother for money for and, and entertainment he had his friends around and made them fight in the little pit and the thing just went sideways and then that, that's you know his brother dies because the, the wrong punch wrong time and just hit he managed to kill, hit, hit his brother and looks like that looks like they probably doing this for, for a pretty long time now. His, his his father brings his, his people over and have him watch watch his kids fight one another, which is so sick and so twisted. And then blames him for the fact that he made them fight, and then put them down for not pushing punching hard enough. Like this, like, wow, it's insane. And then seeing his father in the dragon, the whole white dragon uniform, which looked look pretty cool, but at the same time, no one would have represent what it, what, he, what he's trying to do to his own son. It's so messed up. And watch, like I said, from the, from the start, watch him go through that whole emotional journey. And then, and then the end, when he finally had the people spoil over here, take out his own father. That all the that all the things he's, he's experiencing, like, like the the burden of um of carrying the fact that he killed his, he killed his brother by mistake. The fact that his whole all his life decisions, another thing that he had made, or who he had become, is because of his father and, and all the teaching that he gave him, and and, 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 and the guilt he's feeling about that. And then having also the fact that even though his father's messed up and the father had been treating him like hor horribly, he still does love his dad. Cause that's all he had. That's all he had. I don't know what happened to the, to the mom. But that's all he had. And then the fact that he had to take him take him out, the pain like it's like like, like it's like relief and grief at the same time, and then and also feeling guilt at, at, at too. And, and watching John Cena portray that and show that and, and on, on the screen, and that was like very heartbreaking to watch. Like wow. Now. There are times the humor doesn't quite work here, like especially the scene with Vigilante. Now, Vigilante in the comic books is not like this at all. And so, if, and I, for, for what I understand with Vigilante, Vigilante is like, like the Punisher. He liked the Punisher in a way. He liked the Punisher. He was a district attorney, and he used to work alongside the Teen Titans, helped them out with a lot of cases like that as well too, and in the mob. Went after his um his wife his family and, and um blew him up in the house. He survived it barely. I mean he did die, but he managed to get revived. And then he left, and then he got trained. He got training from Ghost Warriors. It's a comic kind of books. Warriors from the, who who have died in the past trained him how to fight and how to use weapons as well too. And also through his training, he managed to get like sort of like a a, a, a regenerative power. Like he, he can like self heal himself. And he went out there and just, he just started killing bad guys like the Punisher. People who were bad, he killed them. Just like that. Bang, bang, boom. And then he, but, but in time of constantly killing people all the time, his, his mental health started to, 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 to deteriorate. And then there was also sometimes he messed up and killed the wrong person. Like that too. That also the, the guilt of that kind of weighed on him. And then the final last straw was he sh he, he's shooting some bad guys. He, he, he accidentally shoots a cop. And he thinks he, thinks he killed the cop. And the stress of that and everything he has done, the mistakes he has made, kind of weighs on him so much, he kills himself. And that's how the piece, and that's how Benjamin Andy ends. Yeah, it's a very tragic story. And he's a very serious character. And, and sometimes the humor, I, I, even though I do like Benjamin on the show, sometimes the humor can be a little bit too much. Like, they, 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 kind of, they, make, him, like, they make him too dumb sometimes. And it's, it's okay to be silly. It's okay to throw like a Deadpool like character. There's nothing wrong with that. But Deadpool is not stupid. So sometimes they make him like a little bit too dumb. And so like sometimes it's, it's like like, like it, 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 it's sometimes so when they, he doesn't make those jokes like that too, it's like really bad timing and wrong timing. Like you got, like you got, you got um, Chris Peacemaker crying over the fact that he lost his father, and then he make did he, did he make the reference back to the whole face exercises thing? Said it was, it was it was inappropriate. But I just uh, I mean I know I know that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like the, like um. Inappropriate and at the wrong time. He's not reading the moment well. I, I get that, but it was like 
it makes him so dumb sometimes that it doesn't seem like how is he helpful at all? I just why are you there? Yeah. But also watching the whole the whole scene um Hard, um, Harcourt and um, Leo, Leo, um, Leota Harcourt finding out but Leota betrayed the team like that as well too and seeing Leota dealing with the guilt, uh, guilt of that because the thing is though all this time she's not trying to be like her mom but you've seen her be like sort of like be like her mom in a way too without even, without even trying like the fact that she pretty much framed Peacemaker who who, who she who um who, who um she earned his trust, and him giving out his trust to the people was a big deal for him. And he thought he really could trust her, and having her, her betray him like that broke his heart. I mean, he already had to deal with the fact that he lost his father. And now, by his own hands, and he thought the person who was his friend betrayed him. Now he, now he looks like a psychopath on national TV. Now everybody's after him now because of this. It's so messed up. And then also, the fact that she pretty much... Wound up vigilante as the, and manipulated him to get on board. Like the, the thing she does, and she, 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 you think she was trying to be the opposite of her mom, but she, in a way, she, but, but she also like is her mom as well too. Like she's not as cool or as mean or kill anybody in the room to just get to get what she wants type of person. But she 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 does have a little, a little bit of her mom tendencies in her too. To Makes you seem like this. Wow, wow, yeah. But just watching the team come together through, through all the stuff that um, the, um, the vigilante went through and what, what they've been through. We, we lost Mern this episode here, which is what he messed up. I, I can't believe they made you feel sorry for a bug. So that's, that's, that's insane. But now we, got, now we got the whole butterfly situation going on. We got to stop them from moving the cow. And we finally got to see what the cow looks like this time. At first, I thought, I thought it was going to be just, just, I thought it was gonna be just like some weird cow. That's what I thought it was going to be. Because so, so far, everything on this show has pretty much been on the nose. When they, say, when they say the butterflies, they actually are like little like, butter, like, butter, like, little butter, butterfly kind of creatures. And then, then I, thought, I thought the cow was going to be something like a, like a weird like alien cow type of situation. But it, it actually is a giant, humongous, like, centip, catap, whatever. I don't know the thing, like a worm, whatever the thing is. But it, it looks ugly. Yeah. Wow. But just seeing the team come together, but also, also kind of funny. The thing though, even the thing was, was serious this time and really rough and, and emotional and a really emotional impact as well too. So it's, it's, it's a funny moment as well, like, like the scene when they, when they pretty much um, tied up the veterinarians and, so they, they, and pretty much took over their place. And, and, and what the veterinarians like pretty much watch them hear, tell their story about what they're going to do and the plan they're going to do, and then watch them say, "Okay, we're in." I, 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 what are you talking about? You're not gonna fight with all sides. That was it's too is this this is insane. So I say this show has the balance of like taking the crazy, the wild, and sometimes emotional scenes, but also having that right humor to it as well too. I, I, I really do enjoy as well too. And then also like um, I had another point I was gonna make. I forgot what I was gonna say now. But but, but overall, fun show. Oh, also that's right. Also judo master, judo master. This dude cannot die. Wow. This guy, this guy been hit by a car, beat with a crowbar, shot in the chest, and he still keeps coming back. How is that possible? And then he gets this guy electrocuted with a, with a, uh, with a stun gun. Uh, with a stun gun. So like this. Wow. And he's still kicking. Oh my gosh. But overall, like I said, a fun episode. Emotionally, emotionally, very emotional driven as well too. The performance, like for John Cena, is just fantastic. Watching this whole team come together and and then having Hardcore become the leader makes me perfect makes me perfect sense. So, looking forward to see how the how season's going to end. I thought I think about to go about to get really really insane. This this show is is like crazy, silly, insane. I guess I always say crazy, but crazy silly, over the top, but a whole lot of fun, but with a lot of heart as well too. So if you, if, you, if you watch this episode, leave this comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. If you haven't seen it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it. You will enjoy having fun watching it too. So give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, shaboom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really do appreciate it. Also, links down below can connect you to all my social media. You want to follow me there. I really do appreciate that. And also to my stores where I sell things. You want to buy some stuff from me? For me I really do appreciate that as well too. So like I always say, in my dreams in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.